I'm Stephen Gollin. Um, I'm in the anthropology department here. Uh, this is my 39th year of university level teaching. But the two universities where I've had tenure track positions were the University of Pittsburgh and the University of California at Santa Barbara. The two schools provided the same sort of challenge of how to find the level to teach where you're, you're not boring the, the, the best students, but you're not leaving some students behind. And it's, it's very important for, for any professor to say, wait a minute, when I'm designing this course, where are my students? Where are they starting from? I know where I want to get them to, but I can't get them there. I can't build a bridge if I don't know where the other side of that bridge has to be. I, I think the flipped classroom helps me with that because I, I get a lot of feedback. I, I get a lot of questions from students. I pre-record um, every, what an ordinary class would call a lecture. Once I get it the way I want it, I can then post it on the class website. And then students can view that lecture any place they have a fairly good internet connection. The students actually attend the lecture before they come to class. In addition to posting the lecture on the website, I uh, have a portal where they can submit questions about the lecture or the related reading material, which is key to that lecture. I will go through all the questions that have been asked and or organize them sort of by how basic they are, how sophisticated they are. Start with the simple ones and, and build a presentation around that. What I've done is then create a second presentation using PowerPoint, but including the, oh, maybe 10 questions per class session that I thought were in interesting, which by the end are, are pretty darn sophisticated questions and go well beyond what I taught them because I want to show the students that this is what they're supposed to do with what they're learning. They're not supposed to just repeat it back. They're supposed to be able to incorporate it into their toolkit and and apply it to, to uh, a, a question, a problem, an issue that, that I didn't raise in the, in the lecture. And I redo that obviously for every class session, for every time I teach this course. So in the spring it'll be different than the fall because they'll have asked different questions. Mm -hmm.